What a night for a fight. We're at Brooklyn Hall. My name is Todd Grisha. And next to me for the broadcast, the one and only... The Bronze Bomber. One of the hardest punchers in heavyweight history. This bout is scheduled for 12... What a pleasure to be in this unique environment. Every... These athletes have been waiting a long time to square off. Here we go. Oh, and he caught him there with a right hook. Trying to answer back. love being in this venue as the audience is right on top of you and they will be bringing the heat tonight they are ready to watch this showdown god i've got to give it to the promoter to pick this place every ticket is like golden you cannot get these tickets so if you are in this venue you are watching this fight trust me we're lucky to be sat here nice exchanges from both men in this round to score with that left hook. He threw the hook, didn't land. You know the scorecards are going to be all over the place in this one. is winning this bout. He's going to be the first one to get clipped. This fighter told us yesterday, if he doesn't win by knockout, he doesn't consider it a real victory. That's the mentality he has. 
Tigers just want to mow you down. They want to walk straight through as though you do not exist. You've got to be fit for this one. You can tell he's stronger, but he's not faster. Another scoring shot. Both of these men showing exceptional chins, by the way. Some nice exchanges from both men in this round. Counter puncher is going to wait for you to move first and then will strike like a snake. Keep an eye on this guy. They have got great ring IQ. Counter punches are the best. He got out of the way that right hook. a big right hand this round's still up for grabs with just 10 seconds to go this fight is close this fight is going to get quick first the game plan is going to be for this fighter. He's got to stick and move and avoid the big shots from the bigger man. The plan is to try and change that game plan. Get him angry. Get him frustrated. Make him deviate away from the plan. Missing with that right hook. He scores with that right uppercut. As it is in most heavyweight fights, don't blink because one big shot and this thing could be over. Because that's all big, because they can push, because they've got the weight behind them. They may not be connecting, but trust me, when they connect, that's when this fight sets on fire. Because someone's going to get hurt, and someone's going to react. Defending. Not a lot of very close round with 10 seconds to go. This one could go either way. Every round is so important. It's too hard to split. Do you listen to your head or your here we go to the fourth round. How nervous would you get when you know you're facing a big puncher like this guy that can seriously hurt you? You've got to be courageous when you're getting in there with someone that's bigger, stronger, and faster. You've just got to use brain there. Caught him with a left hook. Looks like they're out of trouble. He just misses with that big right hand. Can they figure out the combination to this sink?
He knows that right hand's coming and still can't do anything about it. This fighter has tested their opponent's power and apparently isn't impressed as they continue to walk through all these power shots. Tough. You know what? Sometimes when I've done in the ring with fights like that and you punch them, you just want to run. You want that spaceship to come and lift you out there because you think, what the hell am I going to do now? A very competitive round with 10 seconds left. Yeah. Who's winning this fight right now? I have... Things are starting to heat up now as we enter the fifth. Oh, and he caught him with a stiff jab. He just missed with that big right hand. being smothered here in the clinch and can't get his shots off. There's no way this fighter can go punch for punch. Their resistance to these blows just isn't the same. You can see he does not like being grabbed onto. seconds to go. I don't know about you, Johnny, but I'm getting a little bit sleepy. I know those rounds, and you know what? We'll get excited. Let's start the six. fighters are starting to run out of gas. What do you do as a fighter when you just don't have the energy? Make way through the fight. If you are tired, this can be the loneliest place in the world. If you... How is he still on his feet? He's going for the finish. Another good one for him. In your 
it's onward and upward after another knockout win here. Well, there's no argument right there. Not, you say it. Night, night. This rivalry has been brewing for a long time, and it spills over tonight at the CompuBox Academy. I'm Todd Grisham. Next to me is Johnny Nelson. The pleasure's always mine, my friend. It's time for our tale of the tape. In this corner, it is Carl the Cobra Frotch, six foot one inches tall with a 75.2 inch reach. In this corner, it's Roy Jones Jr., 180. Carl the Cobra Frotch, one of the greatest super middleweight champions of all time, fighting out of Nottingham, United Kingdom. Roy Jones Jr., one of the... This bout is scheduled for 12 rounds of boxing. In the red corner... Introducing from Nottingham, England, a super middleweight champion of the world, Carl the Cobra Frotch. Hiding out of the blue corner from Pensacola, Florida, here is a middleweight, a super middleweight, a light heavyweight, and a heavyweight champion of the world, Roy Jones Jr. Not too many seats to be had in this arena as the hype continues to build for this showdown. Right. This is an arena fight. You couldn't have got anybody else in this place. And what I say, you must obey. Good luck. Here we go, round one. Who's going to land the first big shot? That jab. Both of these men showing exceptional chins, by the way. Not too many seats to be had in this arena as the hype continues to build for this showdown. 
to walk into an arena and be the hero. The pressure, the expectation, the, the desire from the fans. You can't get away from it. Ignore them. Lock it up. I know it's hard. I can hardly hear you, Taz. You've got to ignore them. Get on with your job. Changes from both men in this round. And he misses with that jab. He parries away that left hook. He blocks that jab. Fighter told us yesterday, if he doesn't win by knockout, he doesn't consider it a real victory. That's the mentality he has. A win is not just a win for some fighters. They need to feel the blood, the crunch. They need to get that win. This round could go either way. Ten seconds to go. Could not be any closer, could it, Johnny? So important. The referee's got to do his fight right. He's got to judge his right. He's got to do his job right. So there you have it. It is official now, and that is not the way anyone wanted this fight to end. No complaints there at all. The crowd agree. I agree. The ref knew exactly what he was doing. So you know what? Great shout. I look forward to fight number two. As expected, fully packed here tonight. All the seats have been sold. We're live at the Empire Fight Camp. I'm Todd Grisha, and watching this live with me is Johnny Nelson. Todd, it's going to be an amazing night. As per usual, everybody's going to benefit. It's time for our tale of the tape. And it's Nigel, the Dark Destroyer Ben. He's 5 foot 10 inches tall. The Dark Roy Jones Jr. He won world titles at four different weight classes, including the heavyweight championship. This bout is scheduled for 12 rounds of boxing. Hiding out of the red corner from London, England, here is a middleweight and super middleweight champion of the world known as the Dark Destroyer, introducing Nigel Ben. Lots of hype. And we're off and running between these two really accomplished fighters. Let's see how they come out. He threw the hook, didn't land. A 
Have you ever danced with the devil under the pale moonlight? That's what these two men are about to go through as they've been talking so much trash on social media. It's time to settle the score. Changes from both men in this round. He misses with that jab. And he misses with that jab. Neither man really defending himself. This slugger, as you know, he's willing to take three to give one. That's his game plan, and it's worked out pretty well for him so far. Sluggers will hit a very close round with 10 seconds to go. I don't know which fighter is winning. He's going to be the first one to get bumped. instincts and reaction time. You've got to get in there quick to punch your opponent before he gets his fist back to block. Counterpunch is my favorite kind of fighter. A good counterpuncher are the people that make the history of our sport. Some nice exchanges from both men in this ring. to score with that left hook. Left punch. Should we be surprised if these two fighters go? You know the scorecards are going to be all over the place in this one. One to get clipped. He carries away that left hook. Oh, and he caught him there with a right hook. Missed him with that uppercut. In the early rounds of a fight, you'll see two boxers feel each other out, test each other's power, and I think this boxer has decided I can walk through anything that lands. Todd, you know what? Sometimes on a belly the ring, you fight like that, and you punch them. You just want to win. You want that spaceship to come and lift you out there because you think, what the hell am I going to do now? Big shots from both these fighters. Got to be careful, though. He 
You can tell he's stronger, but he's not faster. They threw the hook. It didn't land. Judges' scorecards read, there are no losers in this one. This fight is... Which fighter is going to get clipped first? doesn't land. Endurance is becoming a factor. You can see this fighter having a hard time getting out of the way of the punches, and they're not throwing as many on their own. What could they change? They can change their attitude. They can change their, their nervous system for a certain amount of punches per run. Because otherwise, if they deviate from the game plan, they're going to be shattered once again, and the fight will be over. Two are the perfect dance partner. That left hook miss. Got out of the way of that right hook. There's no way this fighter can go punch for punch. Their resistance to these blows just isn't the same. What a gift. What a gift it is to have a chin where you know you can walk through anything and everything. When you let those shots go and it's just bouncing up and they're walking you down, it's so demoralizing. It absolutely breaks your heart. What else can you do? A very competitive round with 10 seconds left. Who's going to be the first one to get rocked? And he lands a big right hand. He just misses with that big right hand. Fighter is sort of the death by a thousand paper cuts approach. They'll hit you a thousand times before you can land one. So you're getting in there with someone that's so fast, you're prepared to take a lick it because you've got to get some before you get in close. He gets out of the way of that left hand. Can they figure out the combination to this safe? Good idea, but misses with the left hook. How do they use this fighter's aggression against them? I've seen some aggressive fighters like this, and they are a nightmare. If you are not fit, if you are not fit, that is the worst place to be, having second thoughts in the ring. This round could go either way. Ten seconds to go. Who's going to be the first one to get caught? Who 
Ooh, that punch hurt him. And that hook misses. Fighters are starting to run out of gas. What do you do as a fighter when you just don't have the energy? Now you've got two fighters that are absolutely shattered. What gets you through? Willpower. Calm, because if you panic, you get desperate. If you get desperate, you make mistakes. If you make mistakes, you get knocked out. Can they figure out the combination to this safe? That one will count. Swing and a miss with the left hook. And he misses with the left uppercut. So far, it seems like aggression has been the key. This fighter just not slowing down. Sometimes when you have a fight, the best way to beat a fight is not to... This round's still up for grabs with just 10 seconds to go. Yeah. That seemed to be like a feeling. Yeah. Round seven, here we go. Missing with the hook. Caught him with that power punch. Missing with the left hook. know who the bigger power puncher is. There's a significant power difference. How would you handle that? This could be really intimidating, Todd. If you know somebody's got the punch power, someone's got the speed, someone can take you out with a simple jab, it can be intimidating. It just depends on how confident you are as a fighter. Back and forth they go. Neither fighter willing to back down. Only catching air with that hook. Him. Now what? Can he close the show? I thought we were... Last 10 seconds of the round. <laughs> These two fighters promised to score. Cool. Here's the bell to start round eight. heard the phrase, finding a second win. I don't think I need to tell you which one of these fighters needs to find it. What can they change? Can they slow the pace down? Can they hope to, to, to knock them out early? What can they do? They've got to concentrate and relax. Because you know what you can do in the gym. You can do it in the fight. You've got to relax. How did he absorb that hook? And 
Nice exchanges from both men in this round. Trying to answer back. How much confidence do you build when your opponents hit you with their best shot and you walk right through? Because you've got a good chin doesn't mean you've got leather skin. It means you can still get caught. So you've got to go for those pot areas over the eyebrow, the cheekbone. You've just got to try and pop them, skim and go for speed. Men step back for just a moment. A very competitive round with 10 seconds left. This fight is closer than two. Each fighter is going to get caught first. One punch could change everything in this battle. In the early rounds of a fight, you'll see two boxers feel each other out, test each other's power, and I think this boxer has decided I can walk through anything that lands. Don't get trigger happy. Because all of a sudden you're going to be gassing yourself out trying to get that shot. And that's when they catch you. Can he do it? What a massive upset this would be. How is he still on his feet? Some nice exchanges from both men in this round. He blocks that right hook. Bambi legs. He's got to get back into the fight. One, two, three, four, five, six. Final 10 seconds here, and I think he knows who's won this round. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. You're out. Not many people would have predicted it, but we've got a knockout victory. That is going to be one of those what happened next shots. Where did it come from? How did he land? He didn't, he didn't, he didn't get knocked down. He got knocked out. I didn't mean out, out. We are live at the CompuBox Academy. The time is now as we get set for what should be an incredible matchup. I'm Todd Grisham, alongside... And here he is in the flesh, Terry... Ricky... This bout is scheduled for 12 rounds of boxing. In the red corner, 
from Omaha. A lot of trash talk between these two fighters. These athletes have promised us a war. Let's see if they deliver. And he caught him there with the left hook. Hook. You can really feel the buzz in the air tonight. So much hype here in this arena. Situations like this target will either make or break a fighter because the expectation from the fans of the people here, of the millions of people around the world, people like you and I sat here expecting everything and anything can break a man or make a man. Changes from both men in this round. Good one. Neither man really defending themselves. The counter fighter relies a lot on their instincts and reaction time. You've got to get in there quick to punch your opponent before he gets his fist back to block. If you're fighting the counter puncher, you've got a dummy shot. Make them react from that, then react then. I know it's hard to think that way, but counter punchers are watching you, watching your every move, that every twitch. This round can go either way, 10 seconds. Could not be. And there's the bell to start round two. Just threw the hook, didn't land. Jab well at all. You're not going to see a lot of finesse and skills from this guy. He wants to bury his forehead in your chest and pound away. You're gonna swarm on your case. You know you've got to fight. You've got to hold him. You've got to tie him up. You're gonna lean on him when he come in. This is not the way he wanted this fight to start. Let's see if he can get out of trouble. Some nice exchanges from both men in this round. Trying to cover. forget. Not much to write home about. Here we go in round three. Who's going to land the first big shot? Then step back for just a moment. Not a lot of punch output. Thought there might be more action here. This is 
is one of those fights where if you blink, you probably miss about three or four punches. That's the kind of output we're going to see. Oh, my goodness, so that little Yorkshire Terrier is never going to give up. He just misses with that jab. Changes from both men in this round. That one will count. You hear that old phrase, second win. You've got to find it somehow. What can they change? Can they slow the pace down? Can they help them to, to knock them out early? What can they do? They've got to concentrate and relax. Because you know what you can do in the gym. You can do it in the fight. They've got to relax. round still up for grabs with just 10 seconds to go. This one could go either way. Each fighter's going to get quick first. We both know who the bigger power puncher is. There's a significant power difference. How would you handle that? Todd, we know one of these fights can knock you out with a simple jab. They're that powerful. Nice exchanges from both men in this round. Ooh, that punch hurt him. How do they use the spider's aggression against them? Sometimes when you have a fight, the best way to beat a fight is not to give them what they want. Because they want to get you there. They want you to stand there, toe to toe with them, and have a tail. That's what they do in the gym every single day of the week. What you got? Final 10 seconds of the round, and he is looking really sharp. As bad as boxing judges. Here we go in round five. Who's going to land the first big shot? Punch. There's a scoring blow. The old adage is no matter how much speed you've got, timing beats speed. This can be so frustrating when you're in such a fast fighter. Fast fighter can throw three full shot combinations before you even let one up. That creates frustration and that's when it gets hard. These two are the perfect dance partner. He fails to score with that left hook. is over at least for now solid 
punch. Energy and endurance are not an issue for this fighter who continues to be aggressive as the rounds wear on. A very competitive round with 10 seconds left. This fight is closer than... This is the beginning of round six. Hurt him. Lucky that hook didn't score. Fighters are starting to run out of gas. What do you do as a fighter when you just don't have the energy? Midway through the fight, if you are tired, this can be the loneliest place in the world. If you cheated, no. Trying to answer back. I thought that was going to be a knockdown at least. Can they figure out the combination to this safe? Chin. He's head hunting right now. How did he absorb that hook? This round could go either way. Ten seconds to go. Unwilling to end. Here comes round seven. This fighter's certainly not going to outthrow their opponent by any means, but they will when they hit be a lot harder. I've seen certain fighters that can depend on just their power alone. Forget tactics, they know the second they touch you. It's done. That's where the comedy comes from. That left shot lands. Caught him with that power punch. This is certainly an aggressive fighter, but that doesn't always mean success. How many times have you seen a fighter chase a superior athlete around the ring and just get picked apart, even though they were the one pushing the tempo? How do you deal with an aggressive fighter? What you do is you fight, fire, we fight. You either give it and back because that's where they're comfortable, or you play calm, play cool, and they figure out the combination to this safe. seconds here and I think he knows who's won this round. And a round that seemed like an eternity. And there's the bell for round eight. When are we going to see a jab from these two? Oh, 
there's a big difference between being the aggressor and the effective aggressor. Which type are we seeing so far? I've seen some aggressive fighters like this, and they are a nightmare. If you are not fit, if you are not fit, that is the worst place to be, having second thoughts in the ring. He just misses with that big right hand. And forth they go. Neither fighter willing to back down. And caught him with a left hook. Correct me if I'm wrong, but when you're dealing with someone with so much speed, you've got to get your timing right. Having so much speed, what happens to your opponent is you get caught to ribbons. And that's where the referee has to jump in and stop the fight. And you know this is going to happen. So you rush your work. You think, I've got to get him inside close round. And he caught him with a left hook. Despite what the judges' scorecards read, there are no losers in this one. Not much to write home about in that round. There's the bell start round nine. Coming back to life now. Starting to land some punches. Power is obviously the great equalizer in boxing, but when you know your opponent is relying on that so heavily, how do you deal with it? So one who draws first blood type, that's what you've got to look at. If you get and you know you're in there with a banger, you've got to be on it, but you've got to be confident. Gloves up. <laughs> Big shots from both these fighters. Got to be careful though. He just missed with that left jab. Seen all the famous boxing movies, the training scenes, the gym work. That's what it all boils down to. Who's going to have more endurance? What can they change? They can change their attitude. They can change their, their nervous system. So a certain amount of punches per round. Because... like he's going to survive the round here, but just barely. You heard that right, ladies and gentlemen. A knockout victory and one of the biggest surprises of the year. Oh, what a shot. What a shot. You see shots like that in the gym. At least for once, this is on TV. Thousands around the world saw that shot. They probably even heard it.